Hello guys, I'm back. In this video, I will talk to you about how to get an international position as a just graduate. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plan design. Follow my profile and like this video to have hundreds of content related to chemical process engineering and plan design. Time to time, people get in touch with me asking for a job and instead of you doing that because it's not effective, I am a chemical process engineer, a Brazilian chemical process engineer that lives in Brazil, work in Brazil. Uh, I will recommend you uh, another, another way of looking for abroad, uh, abroad opportunities as a just graduate chemical engineer or other chemical engineer. But doing some comments related to people getting in touch with me, it's important to understand that each company, each country has its own, own policies related to workers. And when you apply to a foreign country, it's harder because they will try to protect the, the job market for the natives. It's, it's common. So if I live in Brazil and I have a Brazilian government, it's, 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 Common, it's understandable that Brazilian government will try to protect the jobs for Brazilian people, as we have in Europe, as we have in the US. All the jobs will be preferred, preferred uh, shown, shared with natives or people from, from that location. One way to break this barrier is going to a foreign company uh, for a foreign country for the studies, for instance, doing a master. So if you go to Germany to do a master or if you go to the US to do a master, the policies in the country uh, is, less, is less harder to get a job because as you are spending your money there to study there, you will get some benefits related to this, this kind of uh, business that you are dealing with the country. But, but there are another way to get a job over uh, abroad if you are a foreigner and most often people that live in developing countries has this kind of dream. So let's turn dreams into goals. If you go to internet and use Google wisely, it's possible to find some international programs for trainings. For instance, if you go to the Google and type International Trainee Engineering, you will find some lists of, you will find some results and one of the results will address you to companies' websites. I don't recommend you to go to generic job web websites. In my point of view, most of them are not reliable. So every time that you are looking for a job on internet, go to the LinkedIn, go to the Zinc, Chink, Shing, or go to the company's website. If you are looking for a job in Bayer or in BASF or in Lind, go to their respective websites. And when I did this international training, uh, international training engineering, one of the first results was the Bayer International, so International Future Leadership Programs for Engineer from Bayer. So eventually you can apply for the Bayer International Program and this way, considering that it is an international program, it may receive applications from many places of the world. So the, this is a program prepared for for highness. And if you think about that, it's easier. Although it's harder to get a position, it is easier to work abroad if you get into a program like this one. Currently, this is not open, but you can do the application for the, their website and receive the notifications when it's open again. All the companies that I will see in this video, I will let the link for the, the program uh, available in the description of this video. Okay? Another international program that you can find is from CAMAX, International Graduate Trainee Program, Industrial or Mechanical Engineering. 
This is another company that offers a international graduate training program. And one of the requirements in those kind of programs, and that is interesting, is that, is that some of them ask for PhDs or master students. And eventually it can, it can, uh, it can be worth to have these kind of titles. Although, in my point of view, for chemical process engineering and plan design, they, those uh, titles are not required. I'm talking about the titles, not about the knowledge. So, for every international program that exists from the companies, you must go there, evaluate what are the requirements, and I, I would suggest that you do a plan for the for, for at least six or maybe one year of preparation to understand better uh, what is required for this kind of uh, selection. Because for sure, as an international programming, it's much more, uh, there is much more competition to get inside it. Another international program that you will find on internet is from Volvo, Engineering Graduate Program. This is also an international program, as I have seen by the results on Google. And any one of them, I, get in, I, I am not getting details because if you are interested in work abroad, it's your duty and your responsibility to verify what are the requirements or not for these programs. What I'm giving you here is, uh, is clarifying your vision on how to ask for a job abroad. It's not going to another LinkedIn profile and ask for a job from a person that eventually you even don't know where lives. Uh, you need to go to the company's website and verify the requirements when it's open, the, the calendar, what, the, what is the usual calendar, and verify if all the documentation that are needed, you already have that before applying. Another international program is the StartCraft International Trainee Program. This is for just graduates, also 16 months program, and uh, will include three uh, job rotation. So this is, this eventually, this is not open, also the, the applications was up to September 28th. To verify that the, the calendar for application is around uh, October, se uh, se September, in order that the company has time to do the evaluation and selection of the candidates to start in the next year. So if you want to, to work internationally in these programs, eventually they will open again about maybe in, uh, between March and April to start in the sec second semester of 2023, if there is this kind of, uh, of calendar. But most often in the end of the year, companies open this kind of program to let the candidates start in the next year. Another program here that is possible to work abroad, and this one, I, I didn't know it in my time as a graduate, but I have a friend of mine that participates in the selection in Brazil, and when he was selected, he was uh, moved to Spain to, to do the studies, six months of study, six months of practice, and now he is a re re his he void. Ah, now he works with uh, oil, oil prospection. And this is from Hepso. Hepso has an international program where he looks for local candidates and sends them to Spain to study, uh, paid study, and also after that they relocate people around the world. You can take a look on that also. And another one that is available for you is the International Graduate Program from Infineon. And in this program, you will get 
from three to four months of assignments. The, there is first assignment, second assignment, third assignment, fourth, fourth assignment, and you will have mentoring, project assignments, training, and international assignment, and etc. And the last, that's the last one that I would would like to share with you. He is the NKT International Training Program. This is uh, from all of them. This is the one that asks for uh, permission to work in Europe. So you must already have uh, excellent knowledge of English. Local English is considered a strong asset because it will be located in Sweden or Germany. But you already need to have a permanent authorization to work in host country. Or you need to have European and citizenship ch in no i don't know what countries are it for me ch is china but i'm not sure if that's the case this is the one that's open application for 2023 years program is available and you can click in the link and address to the form i will not do that and with this i give to you here at least four or five companies that has international program that you can apply. It will not necessarily will be related to chemical process engineering and plant design. Eventually, you will have your engineering uh, shift for business, shift for marketing, etc. But it's a decision of yours. Evaluate what is best for your career as soon as you start your career, you will be able to evaluate what kind uh, of job most uh, most you love most uh, it's important to understand that you need to identify what is your behaviors and strong points you like more calculations you like more to deal with people you need to have a map of your behaviors and if you search on the internet you can see that each person has a set of characteristics related to the psychology and that can work can help you a lot to decide what kind of profession you would like to choose and to follow so guys if you like this video share it with other students graduates and engineers because this way we can reach 100,000 chemical process engineers around the world my name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Bye bye.